You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, the American Heart Association is taking applications now for its Empowered to Serve Business Accelerator program. The idea is to connect people who are committed to social products that improve uh, health outcomes, particularly in underserved communities. Joining me now to talk about that is John Dozier, Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer at the University of South Carolina, uh, and one of the grants, Dr. Francois Marvell of Corey Health. John, how are you doing? Doing really well, Roland. How about you? Doing great. So first of all, um, uh, walk folks through why should folks be applying for this uh, Empower to Serve Business Accelerated Program? Well, let me tell you, uh, we all know that uh, uh, there are social determinants of health, uh, that uh, there are factors about uh, health in our community that um, go beyond just the uh, availability of physicians uh, in our community. As such, um, we... Um, are better informed about what those issues are than anyone else. And, and we need to be uh, more active in, in being a part of the solution. And so this is giving uh, people an opportunity to think about what ideas they have that are going to help to promote um, awareness, help to promote better, more healthy communities. Um, and I couldn't be more proud than the fact that the American Heart Association is invested in doing this uh, important work and, and convening uh, these business folks. Dr. Marvell, of course, we were at we were in North Carolina in uh, April with the American Heart Association. Uh, that was a competition for HBCUs, but this program uh, is actually open to anybody. Anybody can apply for this, correct? That's correct. We're really excited to really engage with innovators who want to change the way that their health is being taken care of in the community and to reach out to urban health individuals in particularly so we can really level the playing field and bring better health equity through the American Heart Association's really huge vision to change and reduce cardiovascular risk and stroke risk. Uh, John, how much is the grant? Uh, how long, first of all, and how can somebody apply? So uh, people can apply uh, by uh, going to uh, the American Heart Association um, website. This is the Midland, Mid-Atlantic affiliate. Um, uh, and uh, the grants uh, vary in the amount, uh, but uh, it's all focused on making sure that we're providing uh, funding so that uh, entrepreneurs, that, that people that are engaged in their community, again, uh, can uh, do uh, projects and, 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 and promote uh, health and wellness within their communities. Uh, and again, Dr. Marver, uh, the key is that this is not uh, limits to organizations. Any individual, any business can actually apply for this. And we really want African-Americans to apply for this because we understand how critically important it is to have be better health outcomes in our community. A hundred percent. We really roll and want to be focusing on bringing in as much diversity, promote African-Americans to be incredibly involved in this. And you can be having your own idea. You can be an entrepreneur. You can have your own business. But the key is you need a passion to really improve health equity and improve the health care of the community that you're a part of. Uh, and again, the application deadline is June 28th. Uh, and uh, the presentation is actually going to be, is it October? Am I correct, John? Yes, in October. All right, then. So, again, we want folks to, to go to uh, the American Heart Association uh, website. Uh, we, our folks, they should have it on the screen. Uh, I can't see our signal here, so hopefully we have the website. Uh, we're going to also put this on social media as well. And, again, all the folks who are watching, anybody can apply for this grant. You don't have to be affiliated with a college. You can be an individual, a business, an organization. And so we want to flood them with applications uh, because we want to make sure that our folks are counted. Final word, John Dozier. Well, Roland, once again, the American Heart Association has been doing this work for some time now, um, making sure that we're identifying and evaluating community-based initiatives uh, that are going to have a strong impact on improving uh, the health uh, and well-being within our communities. This is important work. Uh, I encourage, like you have, uh, everyone to get engaged, be involved. Uh, we know best how to solve the problems within our communities, um, and we need to uh, come uh, with good ideas so that the American Heart Association can bring those resources to bear um, and so that we can um, 
help each other uh, to be um, more healthy um, and best prepared to uh, participate in uh, the economic prosperity uh, that we're promised. Dr. Marvel, your final word. I want to encourage everyone out there with a vision to help other people, to help your community, to believe in your own ideas, to take something that you know can make a big difference, to grow it. And with the American Heart Association support, like they did for Corey Health, we're able to help heart attack survivors live a healthier life. And it was a vision that we had for the community that's so key in our urban population within Baltimore and make a difference. And you can too. So go out there, take your idea, and thank you to the American Heart Association for funding innovation for our community. All right, folks, we appreciate it. Thank you so very much. And don't forget, the deadline is June 28th. John, Dr. Dr. Marvell, thanks a lot. Y'all take care. All right, folks, back to that Mark unfiltered video in just one month. All right, folks, they're back. MarijuanaStock.org has another great investment opportunity. If you were lucky enough to invest in their last crowdfunding campaign, you know they raised a lot of money in just a few months investing in legal marijuana farms. Those initial investors now own shares of a publicly traded company. And of course, they are, they're excited by that. Now they have a new investment opportunity that is as good, if not better, than the last. I'm talking about industrial hemp CBD. For those who don't know, the hemp plant is a cousin to marijuana, uh, of course, and then you, it has a higher concentration of CBD, which means hemp CBD gives you all of the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Now, until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, that changed with the 2018 Farm Bill, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S. and creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. They need land to grow all of the plants, and this makes for an incredible investment opportunity. And that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. That's right, they are hemp CBD landlords, and you can get in on the action. You can invest in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as 200 bucks, up to $10,000. All right, folks, all you got to do is go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org if you want to get in the game. And if you do so, do it now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.